Do you ever open your closet and think, why did I buy that? I definitely have a lot, but not since shopping with Quint. I see fewer misses and a lot more hits that I'll be wearing season after season. Quince has all the seasonal must-haves, like 100% European linen shirts from 30 bucks, performance polos, and versatile activewear. The best part of all, Quince items are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. By partnering directly with top factories, Quince cuts out the cost of all the middlemen and passes the savings on to us. And Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabric and finishes. I really like that. I just got two shirts. I ordered a third. It's coming in a week. I got two shirts. I just got them a couple days ago. The quality is unmatchable. I love them. They feel great. They fit great. That's why you gotta shop at Quince. Fill your closet with timeless pieces that you'll be wearing for summers to come with Quince. Go to Quince.com forward slash Bubba for free shipping on your order and a 365 day return policy. That's Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com forward slash Bubba to get free shipping on your order and again the 365 day return policy quince.com forward slash bubba Bubba Weekly Wrap-Up Show. With Lummy, myself, that's me, Brett, and Colton. How's it going, guys? It's going well. We're here. We're live. This music is kind of uh, hitting a little bit here. I like this music, Brett. There you go. 
Hopefully we can have some more soon so they don't repeat themselves and we get tired of them. You get sick of them? Yeah, it'll happen eventually. So I think if we can if we can get in front of the problem before it happens. I just get sad because I look over at this stack of CDs <laughs> well, just... for five years of work, and I know Colton did it a lot. Hours. Probably days. Because I remember when Bubba said this week with this rock music, and I'm like, yeah, that's good. <laughs> and I remember Mike Thurman, $20 for the Filthy and uh, Lloyd Christmas. I was like, I remember when Bubba would tell me, we got to get new music, got to get music. And I would come through with all this different stuff, and then he'd praise it for a couple days. And then he wouldn't use the CD and anymore. Then he would, and then he'd start playing the CD that I <laughs> maybe made him like two weeks ago. And he's like, let me, we need new music. All right. So I'd bring like three of them, and then he'd keep playing the same one. And he's like, let me, we need new music. And now the new thing is, uh, hey, let's get some new liners. Have Tara cut the liners. Yeah. yeah. Which I, I do agree. Which I, I have no problem, but I need everyone to send me the liners that they've sent before. I'll, I'll resend mine because I, I contributed some. I don't think they've been used yet, probably because they weren't the greatest, but I'll resend them, and if you can reuse them, you can. What was an example of your liner? Oh, fuck. I don't remember. I have to pull up an email. That was a while ago, dude. 81390 Bubba, 81390 BUBBA. If you want to call in, tell us what your favorite part of the week was. I'm dying to hear one of these liners, by the way, Colton. I'm hoping your writing there. is as good as your uh, handwriting. Oh, no. I, I, you know, typed them, to be real. I mean, at least... Uh, I did write a couple notes here. It's hard for people to see, but it's my scribble scrabble. I know when Rhett and I wrote ours, we never had to announce which ones were ours. But it is good to hear that yours got used. Because, Rhett, you've had, you've had some used, right? Yeah, I think a couple. There what? was one that I did about COVID that I wish got used, but I don't think we ever did it. What was it? Resubmit it. It was, uh, he's a government-created virus that just doesn't go away. It's Bubba the Love Sponge. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. Oh, it didn't get picked? No, it did not. Man, that sucks. I thought that was, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah I thought that was on brand. Maybe, maybe Tara will, uh, yeah. we'll read it for you. Let me find a couple of other ones here, brother. What that's if, what I was trying to find mine now, and I can't find them. I know uh, the one that I think Bubba gets annoyed with because he keeps saying we need new ones after it goes. So I uh, I did the he's best friends with Tony Stewart, Deion Sanders, and not Hulk Hogan. And not Hulk Hogan. Did they, did they not used to stay anymore on the end of that one? I think so. And not and Hulk then, Hogan anymore. Been, that's been yeah, I think off, she. Right? I yeah, I think I want to say she re-recorded that one because we had initially complained about the Tony Stewart. Yeah, I think she did. She but I also think that. that just her voice. Okay, good. So I wasn't going crazy because I was like, I could have sworn he used to say any more in the end of that. Yeah. It's like and the I Mandela didn't like how it sounded, but... It's like the Mandela effect. Yes. Okay, Lummy, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm, I'm treading water over here. I'm trying right. to find listen, this Listen, we, we've had a busy liners. week. I can't find them. I'm crazy so week. Sorry. We've been up... You know, listen, Rhett and I, we didn't get out of here until... Well, Rhett, you got out of here a little later than I did. I think I left at like 11.30, 11.20. Yeah, like fucking midnight. Yeah. So it's it's been, it's been, a, it's been a crazy day, but... I think we've had enough of the political talk for the show, so let's just start with... Like a Jim Jones party without the Kool-Aid, you're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. That's another good one, dude. Are you you are had you some sh- good ones. Hold on, are you sure that your emails didn't go to junk mail again? Absolutely positive. Are you asking me? No, right. Oh. You, I don't even heard yours. I don't have... I can't find them. I texted them at one point, I think, and I can't find them for the life of me. I thought I texted them to you and Bubby... Uh, Bubby. <laughs> you and Bubba in a group text, <laughs> but I can't find it, so... Mike Thurman asked why no more monster truck voice slum for hundreds. Um, no reason actually. I you get sick? No, I, I macho did, get you sick? Fuck no! I haven't done the macho. <laughs> I haven't done the monster truck voice uh, in a while. It was a couple times. I felt like Bubba was getting annoyed by it because sometimes when you would say Mike Thurman hundred dollars. Uh, I think Bubba, because I try to pop those in during, a, you know, his thoughts. Sure. And then I started reading some of the comments because they have been funny comments from like Mike Thurman or yeah. whoever else. I'd be like, Mike Thurman, $100. Babyface has a real cute shirt on today. I think Bubba was like, okay, that's kind of annoying compared to me just being Mike Thurman, $100. You got a cute, you know, cute t-shirt or whatever. Yeah. It's a lot quicker. I can understand the recognition, though, for throwing down, you know, three oh, digits. Oh, hundred percent. And I thought, of, but once again, yesterday during the debate thing, we were getting two hundred and fifty dollars ones, and I thought about doing the monster truck. <laughs> Bubba was already annoyed. 
Now I'm going to start doing monster truck while we have Biden and Trump going back and forth. And I'm like, eh, let me just call it out. So, I mean, maybe maybe I'll bring it back. Uh, maybe I just won't read the comments. So don't be upset if I don't read the comments. Uh, unless, you know, Bubba's, you know, taking a break between a thought or something. And I got a little bit more time to, to bring in. I see, and I'm still swimming over here waiting for Colton to find an email. I, and he I, still hasn't found one. But I have none. I, I've looked at my phone. I can't find it. The only thing I could find was this picture of you. Um, <laughs> wearing right. wearing my bottom boy outfit with your chest hair hanging out and some type of rainbow flag around your head. Oh yeah, that's right. I think that was during Pride Month, like four years ago, five years ago. But I am like six years ago. I it was been a long time. Yeah, probably five six years ago. In fact, in the background, you can see Janessa in the background on the air with you. So yeah, I mean, I would say it's quite old. Uh, oh, but I, I'm finding fake pictures. I'm finding a bunch of stuff. I can't find those fucking liners. So I'm sorry. I can't find them. I'm not going to have any examples for you. I don't have to send them directly to Bubba, to you, email. I don't know. I can't find them. So sorry. Well, I mean, most people would just say that you didn't probably do them then. Yeah, you, most people would say that, but they're wrong. I just can't find them. I did them. I just misplaced them. Hmm. Rhett, what do you think? I, I plead the fifth. I, I mean, I had to go check my emails. I had to check sent emails, and then I typed in liners to search with a keyword, and I was able to find it. There were two separate liner emails that i had sent 10 liners each fuck <laughs> it's okay buddy it's okay it's been a rough week i think yeah, everybody's out of whack this week i mean i will say we haven't got to talk about it amongst us three but i had a great time at the tampa tarpons event oh yeah it was, yeah. It was an awesome time even though it rained yeah uh, it, and i think that's <laughs> it really upsets me lately is that we have all these kick-ass events that we have to make the most out of but man they would have been top notch if it didn't fucking rain and I'm worried about rain tomorrow for uh, for Ocala. I don't want to be the one to say it, but someone's got to fucking say it. I mean, if you it. want me to say it, I will, because evidently, if you want it to rain, I'll say it. I'll question it, I should say. Because the last two weeks that I've done that, yeah. the events have been rained out. Yeah, yeah. thanks a lot, dickhead. So, um, do I... Nah, you know what? I'm not going to even question this one, because I wanted the event to happen. The Morgan Wallen one? No, the event for Bubba's uh, Wiener Nationals Yeah, tomorrow. the Wiener Nationals. Scout's oh, yeah. big what race the tomorrow. Fuck, what? What? What the fuck? You shouldn't have even brought that up to Colton. Yeah, oh, Rhett. Kiss be, my fuck. Kiss my ass. You should, yeah, be, Rhett. you should be knocking out Colton right now. I mean, that's some money that you could win. No, Colton. I didn't say anything here. I, I want the no, track. You know why business. I bring it up? You know why I bring it up? Because I'm tired of running around on the weekends and getting fucking rained on. That's true. <laughs> the yeah. last month and a half, two months. Oh, I feel like every weekend we've had an event and we've been running around in these last couple of events. Like I said, it's been great. We get out there, we get all the way set up. And it starts fucking raining. Wyatt Luckily, Harris. we didn't have any setup with the uh, the tarpons. Thank you, Wyatt Harris, for the twenty five dollars. No setup. Neil mounts for the twenty. Thank you. Sorry. Damn. Sorry, appreciate Rhett. you, Wyatt. Appreciate you, Neil. Yeah, um, thank you. But we didn't get to have a, a pre tarpon meeting. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have <laughs> a during. Lot. We didn't have a during tarpon meeting like we usually do as well, and a post tarpon meeting. It was kind of you know, hey, let's rush over really quick to know, the after kinda, party, and it kind of sucked because uh, we didn't really talk about it on the show for all three of us. Bubba was in the smart car. Did you guys see him in the smart car waiting while it was raining? I saw him pull up, yeah. So I uh, I dropped off Walker Ashley, and we had three friends with us, so we all packed in Ashley's car. And I go park, and I'm wearing my Hey Dudes, which aren't the best for rain, and I hop over a puddle, mm. but I land actually in the, the dirt. So Bubba, so I'm run, trying to run up, and I hear Bubba, Lummy, Lummy, and he's in the smart car. He's got the door a little open, and he just starts having a full blown conversation while it's pouring, <laughs> and and I'm like, yeah, this really sucks, Bubba. And he's just going at it, going at it, going at it, going well, yeah, at it. As I'm just getting poured on. And, and he sits like, there fucking yeah. dry in his smart he's like, car. You think this is gonna happen? I'm like, I don't know, Bubba. I'm gonna go inside and check. He goes, well, yeah. Can you do that? You know, you got the first pitch and blah blah blah. And I'm like, he's like, where's everyone else at? And I'm like, I don't know. I I, I'm, I didn't know if you were there, Rhett. I didn't know if Colton was there. And I'm just getting poured on. And then we run up, and I read. You, I think you had a problem with your ticket. Oh my god! Well, I never got a ticket. That was the thing. So you, were, that apparently, you, yeah, you were with me on that. Uh, apparently, I was supposed to have one texted or emailed to yeah. me, and I and I never got it. So I, I show up over at the. Uh, I don't know if it's the guest list interest or the VIP entrance, but it wasn't the main gate that we normally go through. At first, I was trying to get into the team store because I know normally what we do is we meet up with April, we walk on up to the uh, the ticket stand, we get our stuff, we scan in, and we're good to go. So we can just walk in through that door. Well, they saw me try and open a locked door, and they were like, hey, can we help you? 
are, are you here? Can we help you with anything? Because, like, you know, I'm dressed in all black. I got my Bub Army polo, my black shorts, and my backpack on, my gamer bag. Oh, uh, it's... Uh, yeah. yeah, so I go up. And, and my said, business cards, mind you, fucking... Thanks for bringing them there. You being sarcastic? Go yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, I heard you talking on your show about fucking... Hold on. You name-dropped everybody that you had hold shit except for me, by the way. What I didn't forget that. Came. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I gave the business cards to somebody who I knew would hold them. And, and then right, I gave uh, Ashley this, and then I gave so-and-so this. And it's not a small box. So there's a box behind you, right, if you want to show the camera how big they oh, are. Yeah, I mean, okay. it probably was the biggest, no, biggest box uh, it's on the floor. Oh, Here. Yeah. oh, there it is. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> when it's full of business cards, it's, only it's two easily, feet long. It's but, easily like an 8, 10 pound box. But, bro, think about it. You had your camera, too. You know, you're you're the main, you're yeah, obviously all the my free camera shit from guy the, there. Yeah. I had all my free shit from the tarpons. It was getting crushed. My poor hat. <laughs> Got crushed by Colton's business cards that weren't even the Bubba Army business cards You should have seen my face either. when Rhett was like, here's your, like, I just walked through the gate, dude, soaking we, wet. We, got we were both jacket. thinking the same thing. And Rhett's like, here's these business cards, I don't want to hold them. I was like, I don't want to hold those. <laughs> oh, you made him carry it the whole time? Me? Yeah. Well, the, that was the plan. No, 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 I'm saying, well, I'm sorry. Me? Colton made you yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rhett, I would have fucking left those right there in the, in the That's hallway. That's fucked, I, You dude. know, I was actually hoping, I was hoping, and I'm glad that there wasn't because this just shows the character of Bubba Army people that come hang out at these events, but I was hoping somebody would just grab it and take it because it was in a Yankees like gift shop bag and my name wasn't on it. I do not believe there was anything indicating that it was mine. It was just <laughs> sitting in the middle of the dining room on a table in a Yankees bag. And I'm like, all someone's got to do is just grab that. And I'm not going to know. I was hoping in the back of my mind. I know. I know that would have been some good content. <laughs> Luckily, um, we got permission from April to go to the truck and come back mm -hmm. like during, I think before the first pitch or around that area. So I sent Shelby out to the truck oh, with nice. the business cards. <laughs> Send uh, your girlfriend the, in the rain. The rain your, yeah. No, no, it was done raining at this what point. A, what a guy. With your personal <laughs> business cards, and you probably didn't park that close because you like backing up like a douchebag, and you probably parked what, like by the tennis courts? I parked like by the tennis away. courts off to the left, yeah, yeah, so her car doesn't get dinged and scratched. A mile away. So anyways, I, got my, like, I sent her out there with the business cards, the rain jackets, what else did I have? I had something else. Oh, you I don't remember what. everything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Well, did you even know your wife was 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 carrying around my shit all game? Oh, I will have a talking with her. Then. No, 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 no. I appreciate her. I'm very thankful. Every, everybody had a little piece of cold with them. Yeah. Erica had some stuff in her purse for me. Uh, there was some stuff in Walker's bag for me that your wife was carrying. Oh, that's nice. So Ashley has to uh, hold Walker and uh, worry about your fucking shit. Correct. And thank God. Shout out to her. <laughs> but not a shout out to Red. <laughs> Yes, for sure. Red oh, is yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But it was a it was a great turnout, and there was way more people that I did not recognize. And I try to do my best, which is one reason why I you probably don't really ever see me, especially people that know me. I'm always trying to bounce around and try to introduce and talk to people that I maybe I've never met. And when I walked in, I go, "Holy fuck! I don't recognize half these people." Yeah. And then more people kept coming in. I'm like. Oh shit! I I don't even I I text Big E and I was like, Hey Big E, I'm sorry if I uh, blew you off. I kind of uh, met uh, probably about eighty new people here. From I was going to say seventy five to hundred new people. What do you think, right? Yeah, I, I think it was cool talking to a lot of the new people because it seemed like a majority of them. And I'm pretty sure we said this on the big show. A majority of them are from North Florida or awesome. Orlando, Jacksonville. Uh, you know, some of them from Carolina, but I would say a lot of people I talked to were either Jacksonville or Orlando. And I think the people in those markets, you know, with Florida Man Radio kind of playing out the way that it did, they know that, hey, there's not going to be a yearly event in Orlando. So maybe let me try and make this Tarpons game or make one of the other big events that we have down here. So that was really cool, because like you said, it was it was a ton of new faces. And I think it just shows that in more ways than one, like the brand is growing every day. Yeah. And from like, um, so I listened to Blossy and their show, the Tig Bits show yesterday. And from their point of view. Like, you know, they're outsiders. They're, I mean, they just recently kind of made their way into the mix, but they're outsiders. Yeah. And they were like, as an outsider, you know, you have to, uh, it, it takes a lot to get to BARP. BARP's a big deal, right? But the Tampa Tarpons event over the last two years or so, three years or so, has kind of turned into that secondary event to where if you can't make it to BARP, and you don't get near the experience, of course, but if you can still mingle with us for a couple hours, it's not three days worth of mingling, but you get a couple hours worth of mingling, it, it's kind of like, um, I guess... Get your fix that way, if you will. Yeah, and and the baseball game, I forgot who I was saying it to, but the, I'm like, well, who gives a like? Realistically, I mean, I would have loved to watch the baseball game and Walker, and I, I know probably some other people, but I was like, three quarters of these people don't give two fucks about the baseball game. This is just going to be an hour and a half meet and greet. 
Yeah. Yes. And and these people are going to be just as happy, if not, uh, you know, because we're not outside looking at the baseball. We're kind of inside where you can see Bubba, you can see Red, uh, you can see Seth. Yeah, and shout Colton. out to the shout out to the Tarpons for taking care of us the way that they did. I know we kind of had that whole situation beforehand with the first base club then going back to third base but that, once again that was them trying to take care of us and accommodate how many people we had exactly because like they, they were weren't in the rain yeah yeah they weren't changing things just to change it they were like hey you guys got a fuck ton of people coming and it's gonna rain so we're gonna close these doors instead of packing you in here like sardines how about we move you over here because they, they didn't want to cancel the food and drinks <laughs> right that was it like they so i remember so the lady that we had ashley she did, was not familiar because she just started working this position here recently, so she wasn't familiar. So when I'm going back and forth with her, you could tell she was just like, okay, you're just a normal group, blah, blah, blah. And if we don't get the food and drinks out in time, at a certain time, we're going to have to cancel it. And so I was talking to April, and I'm like, listen, these people are coming from out of town. They're, they're, they're not coming for the Tarpons game. They're, they're, they're not going to you know accept a, a free ticket. To come back, and we're not going to be able to reschedule and get this many people back. Yeah, we love the Tarpons, but like you know, we're here now. No one's coming back tomorrow at noon. Correct. So April understood that, explained it to her, and that's why they actually started. We weren't supposed to get food and drinks till six, and I believe they started at like five thirty-five. Well, yeah, because I, I mean, I had a little bit of trouble at the gate, and those people were just doing their jobs, but it was a little annoying. Uh, I finally got in. Right around six. At this point, we had already known the first game was postponed or canceled outright. The second one was postponed. I was shocked to walk in there and already see that many people in there. As you come there. walking in with your camera yeah, and yeah. my business cards. Yeah, your business I, yeah. cards. I was telling people, hey, <laughs> you guys can go down there, but the food and drinks won't be ready till six. Well, next thing, I was waiting. I think I was waiting. Well, I know I was waiting for you, but I think I was waiting for someone else. And I remember someone came up to me and was like, hey, they're already serving food and drinks. I'm like, what time is it? They're like 540. I'm like. Oh shit! It wasn't supposed to start till six, and that's when you called, kind of pissed off. Well, and they, it, it, yeah, I just I again, I wasn't trying to be a dick. I wasn't trying to be a nuisance, but it, it was a little annoying. Oh, I didn't take it as you being annoying. Um, I felt bad because I I dealt with the same thing earlier in the day. I set up the whole entire thing, and I didn't get my ticket. Yeah, I everyone texted else mommy. did. Yeah. I, I, actually, I sent a group message out. Yeah, you were missing one, message. I think, right? Yeah, I, it wasn't necessarily missing one. I was, you know, no, you were. Wanting one, <laughs> correct. Oh, there you go. You I was one. wanting one. Yeah, you know, being a fucking wedge, and that, that actually pissed me off when I saw that. I go, that motherfucking wedge. Is he fucking serious? I haven't even got my goddamn ticket, and this kid, this th- he got four tickets. Three. And he's, okay, and three. Consider me worked because I was like, shit, man, that sucks. Like it, he's in a tough spot. I read that text and I was like, oh, I hope that gets worked out. Yeah, I'm like, and he's. And I'm looking at the text and who's on it. It's like Bob Cook, Bubba. Erica. Seth, I just Erica. took the same group message that was from the week before. And I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me right now. And so uh, I, 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 was, I was already mad at Colton. I was already pissed off at Colton. Can we talk about why you actually got mad at the game, though? Because I don't, me and Red talked after it. Like, so Red went after the game. Me, big Red, Red, not me. Yeah, I yeah, know. Me, yeah, Red, Big Red. The, we all went to the uh, Hyatt House. It had something to do with the topic of something that we were going to maybe possibly put as the headline that I we didn't mention, that we didn't put on there. Oh, what? yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know what he's saying. Our pre-show meeting, we are trying to figure out what the clickbait title should be. Remember we talked about a couple of things that could get oh, people like going. What, what one might be here in a couple weeks? Well, yes. that, but like, you know, Fuck, someone I'm who... I'm so lost. <laughs> I'm normally how do you good. Know, how do you fucking we Can you hit a fucking it. CD and tell me off the air real quick or something? Oh, hold on, 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 this person, <laughs> thank you, cut the mic off. Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you, I got you. Jesus Christ. Jesus. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> a lot of yelling. <laughs> that was a lot of yelling in that quick five hey. seconds there. If you guys could have heard what the mics were off. You see how mad he got just yes. now? Just talking about it, bringing yes. it up? Yeah, listen, I was fine seven-eighths of the time. <laughs> okay? Seven-eighths of the whole entire time I was there, I was meeting new people, uh, having good conversations, which I found out, man. I feel bad for Florida Phil, but... Why? It's another topic. 
But uh, whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, yeah, you can't just you, do that. You, 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 you just stuck your tip in. You gotta give us, me. A, now you're not gonna give us the shaft. Yeah, a little more content because I don't know. I don't know. We're supposed to talk about it. Well, then don't give us the tip, motherfucker. Yeah, I know, but you know, sometimes the tip feels good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I mean. But didn't I, I Florida Phil arrange something for his son? Yeah, his yeah, son. They had like a great evening. So why do you feel bad? I think I saw the video that he posted of his hot um, girlfriend, wife, fiance. Lady friend. Lady friend, okay. I saw the video he posted of his hot lady friend um, being all happy and surprised that she saw her son for the first time. And I heard Bubba say three years, but is that right? I think it's like three what, years. them together? The last time the son saw the mom. Oh, I think it was like I think I heard a lot of people saying it had been a couple of years. And I thought it, it was only it, a few months. And it was, but it was did he like go to boot camp and come back and Bubba heard wrong? That's what I thought happened. But anyways, it was the first time she saw him in a long time. Yeah, and so it, I don't understand why Phil, that would be bad. It, it's for to Phil's son too. That's what I thought. So it's both. Of, it's their kid. Yes. Okay. Never mind. We won't even go any deeper. Yeah. Just I, give it a tip. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm putting the pieces together in my head, but that that's a timeline I don't want to break down on the air. Yeah. I, I, that's, not, I just clicked it, it yeah. for me, too. That's yeah. not even on that. That's about another just complete Because there was like a body bag. double at some point. I, I don't know. There was a lot going on. Yeah, we'll get into that later. There was later. about another douchebag that, that really screwed over Florida Phil. But oh, what? oh, I know uh, who you're talking. I mean, I know who he's talking dude, about. Dude, so much inside shit happened at that game. I thought I was working the room so well. Yeah, that guy talking wasn't to even... everybody. I thought I was in the mix, familiar with the vibes, and here I am finding out these things that all these things went wrong. And that guy in particular wasn't even close to the game. Are we? Are we thinking of the same guy? Uh, a lot big of celebrity back talk going on right Model, now. Model actor. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. fucking guy. Yeah. Doing what? Uh, what the fuck? I know the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Well, well, I, I, I text Big uh, Florida Phil and asked if we could talk about it. But eight one three ninety above eight one three ninety eight. Tell Florida Phil Tarpon's game, and uh, if you you know you had a fun experience there. So when we took the photos, do you think how many people were already gone before even taking the half, first photo? Half the, gr- half. Half the group. I'd yeah. say a quarter of it was still in the bar because it kind of wasn't the easiest thing to. Uh, Wrangle them up. Yeah, uh, they had to be pushed out by the tarpon saying, hey, no guys. Even, hold on. No one got me on the, well, the, yeah. this is the, the, the thing. one seat. The second one, the second one, Bubba didn't even want it on that second one. Oh, the second one. The now, one, I understand that he might have made his way to the front, but he was not feeling it. Second one, I see everyone. I'm like, what, what, what's going on? They're like, oh, they're taking a picture. I go, taking a picture? What the fuck? <laughs> like, really? And I started walking that way, and then everyone gets up and starts walking away. I'm like, great. Bubba's going to think I fucking dipped out. I didn't want to do this. Didn't want to do that. I was like, what the fuck? And then Remember? they moved the party to the bleachers, and even less people showed up for that picture. Well, I got so I got the first one, Rhett, because yeah. you see my head, but I wasn't even ready for it. You see me in the background with my little teeny head. Same with me. And then the, the, the bleacher one? I had no fucking clue they took him. I didn't even know Seth was doing a first pitch. So, oh, oh dude, I barely, I had to go get Rhett out of, oh, uh, Rhett was, was sitting there eating. Pitch, but... Yeah, I had just finished eating like a hot dog yeah, or something. Yeah, and I was something. like, dude, I, I just heard, and I'm not bullshitting you, I just heard that you got like five minutes to get your ass down there because they're going to do the first pitch. Like, what, what? They canceled the game. I was like, I don't fucking know, but I heard they're doing the first pitch. Well, so, thanks so, to Dr. Dan. Well, so... So I guess muscled his way into getting a first pitch. Well, so how? Yeah, how'd that go down? Does anybody know? I, well, yeah, I set it up. Well, exactly the way that we said it was going to go down last week on the show. Yeah. If anybody listened, yeah, I, I, of course. Well, but, I kind like, of, <laughs> I kind of pushed for it too. But so what happened was, I went to April. I was like, "Hey, can we still do the first pitch with Seth? You know, but he's been practicing." And she's like, "Well, I'll talk to the ground crew, but we don't have a player to catch him." Oh, we I got said, a catcher. Wait, let me go find out something. Hey, Doctor Dan, do you have your glove in the car? Yeah. All right. Get ready. Go to April. Hey, how about Dr. Dan catches? Perfect. So I go to Dr. Dan, go to your car, get your, he goes and wrangles up Seth. I guess, you know, however long it took. Well, they forgot to tell Rhett during all this. And they the told, yeah, nobody told me shit. <laughs> I was walking around. I was doing laps around the entire room. Well, they forgot keep to an tell eye, me. Keep an eye on those business cards. Well, yeah. I remember too. <laughs> and Bubba did say when we first started the weekly wrap up show, we were allowed to talk about things. I remember. Uh, I, I, now I see from the video too, Red, that you and Bubba kept going back and forth about being the game being canceled or not. Because I could tell from the video when you kept putting, uh, you know, have a good night, drive home safe. Yeah. And he's like, I think they're, they're pulling the tarps off, guys. We're going to get going. Well, and you're like, so the they game's were canceled. They were pulling the tarps off, but I literally got video of them making the announcement yeah. that the game had been canceled. And Bubba's standing there. He heard it. He reacted to it. At least in the video, he seemingly reacted to it. And then I walk over and I'm like, yeah, they said uh, 
the first game was canceled and, and tonight's game is postponed until tomorrow is what they just announced. Well, so I go. And he's like, so so is Seth going to have to pitch? Well, so, <laughs> like, yeah, so. So Bubba was tuned up. So I, 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 so listen, I, he knew, I mean, he knew something that I didn't know. He knew that there were some things, some strings being pulled behind the scenes for Seth to get a first pitch. Yeah, well, I didn't know shit. Up. I didn't know anything. Yeah, well, he so, was. Well, that's, that's where, so I go to Bubba. I'm like, hey, we got the uh, the first pitch going on. Where's Rhett? And and this was like after, obviously, you guys been going. He goes, I don't know. Russ is wandering around. He's high as fuck. He keeps arguing with me about <laughs> oh, the game being on. That's what he said. He goes, he keeps arguing with me about the game being on. I'm like, I love a great deal just as much as the next guy, but I'm not going to crawl through a bed of hot coals or go out of my way just to save a few bucks. And if I am, man, it's got to be easy. No hoops, no BS. So when Mint Mobile says it's easy to get wireless for 15 bucks a month with the purchase of a three-month plan, I'm going to call him out on it. Turns out... It's really that easy. It's that easy to get wireless for $15 a month. The longest part of the process was the time I spent on hold waiting to break up with my old provider. That's a nightmare. Wish everything was as easy as Mint. All plans come with high-speed data and unlimited talk-to-text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your old phone number with you, along with all of your existing contacts. To get this new customer offer with your three-month premium wireless plan for only $15 a month, you must go to mintmobile.com forward slash Bubba. That's mintmobile.com forward slash B-U-B-B-A. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com forward slash Bubba. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower on 40 gigabytes on unlimited plans. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. How often do you compare yourself to others? It's easy to envy friends' lives on social media when you only see the good parts. But comparison is the thief of joy. Online therapy can help you focus on what you want instead of what others have. Because your best life is always better than the idea of someone else's. Stop comparing and start living with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com. Do you know where he's at? He's like, I don't fucking know. He's wandering around. You know, I'm like, okay, well, Rhett's high. He's our camera guy. Fucking wandering around doing my job. I, so <laughs> I was I, filming people. So I started wandering around looking for you, and then next day I come out, and Seth's doing the first pitch, and I see you on the field. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, thank God for Colton, because if, if Colton hadn't found me, then I probably would have made another plate of food and you sat know, there. You know, thank God for Rhett, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have had dry business cards, so there it's a go. lot of love over here. It's all, love. it's all love. You know what that is? A lot of love. You guys... I got more business cards I told for you, him, Lummy, too. Soon. Rhett and I built a very good foundation. Not a found, uh, Yeah, foundation uh, when you were gone up there working, making millions of dollars on a prayer handle. <laughs> when it was just Rhett and I here, and you were up there making millions, we, we had a good bond. Yes, going going and working my ass off and listening to music that I couldn't give what, Red whatever that. Well, you could have made that money here. <laughs> yeah. God damn it! I pray you well up. <laughs> I mean, he does. Yeah, he does. Right, listen, I appreciate everything <gasps> so, he does. I, I think me, had, I think me and Colton laid foundations, laid roots, if you will. Got it. Like maybe Barp twenty twenty one. Yeah, that's probably one. Yeah, we, I remember we stood at one of the standing tables out front, outside of the white tent, and it was me, him, and uh, maybe Richie. I think I so. I don't remember who. It was either Richie or Marco. Richie. Uh, we sat friends. there and we smoked like maybe five or six blunts and joints just back to back to back to back to back to back. Holy shit. It was great. It was a great time. So with that being said, if you haven't qualified for BART, be sure to do so because you can join Red and I on By the White Tent. <laughs> now probably with a lot of other people. <laughs> oh, dude, that's the thing. Okay, so I wanted to bring that up. We talked about all the new faces we saw right at the Tampa Tarpons game. Yeah, and uh, uh, One Knock Doc, who wasn't able to come to BARP last year, he qualified, but he dropped 500 right there with cash. <sighs> nice. Very nice. Shout out One Knock Doc. He but, was um, qualified. What? We had to be flirted with the capacity for that side, right? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, we had we, to be I mean, fl- we, like fire capacity, we had to be no, fucking we flirting we, with that. Yeah, they, they wanted <laughs> to, to the move point us where, to the first base side. I was going to say, I know they wanted to move us, but to the point where next year... If we're going to have even more people, if we have the same growth from last year that we did to this year, if we have that same growth from this year to next year, I don't know if we fit in that third Brian from side. Philly, 10 on the Super Chat. Well, this is the thing is they would just open the uh, – they it, now that they kind of know, and if that's going to be the crowd, the upstairs. No, they, they, no, keep it closed. 
That's my secret getaway. Yeah, they, they would put, they would put a people don't even know there's an upstairs. Yeah, well, a lot of what? people don't. They'd put a bar up there. They'd have there food already is. Up there. There's a bar built in up there. I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They'd have yeah. the bar open with okay. the wait, uh, bartender. It is, it is weird, though, because as many Tarpons events as we've done, and obviously I can imagine why, I've never seen that upstairs bar like open it isn't and because it operational. Is, for spring I don't think I would like that, to be honest with you. What, I, I would sitting feel all like, the way up there? Uh, I just feel like having that open would really separate our cr- our group, our crowd, because you'd have seventy percent of the people downstairs, thirty percent of the people upstairs. Well, to be honest with you, I, I I know Bubba's heckling is half of the deal. Yes, but we've showed that we can have fun without a fucking baseball game. So I think nope, nope, Bubba does not want to change it. I know, but just I think do you're going to have to. Point, I think correct. I think I think do you legally, get to that point, like yeah, yeah. capacity wise, where you don't have a fucking choice. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why they wanted to move us to begin with, because yeah. you saw how tight how tightly packed we were in there when the doors were closed. We'll have to talk to him. Maybe we'll put some bars and food outside or something, but yeah. it's not moving. He said that's there's the going to be gimmick. bars and food inside at the first. Have you been to the, have you ever been over yes. there? Yes. And it's not by the visitors dugout. No, I, I, I agree with that. I do agree. And half of our deal is it heckling. Is, yeah. Did just, you guys talk we, to Bubba on Saturday? Yeah. I was in the group thread with us. No, <laughs> not in a private text that I was on with Bubba, but he took us off the group text. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, no shit. He wanted to change it for this year, but I feel like we got a year to convince him that, like, hey, you know, if we have a much if bigger crowd. we have that crowd, same amount of growth. Yeah. yeah. Well, because we had, we had, we had what? How many tickets sold? Uh, almost 200, maybe over 200. Almost 200. And so I next capacity, year. That's got to be about 170, 180, I would imagine. Next year, I I don't think we're going to have a choice. And Big Red said, uh, not going to happen. I, and, I, and unfortunately, um, right, I agree with you because, I mean, obviously you and I are dancing on this, but I don't know if Bubba, like, we know Bubba's stuck in his ways with some things. And I don't know if he's going to budge on a, on moving basis. That'd so, be that'd be a terrible way to lose a sponsor like the Tarpons. Move, no, 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 we're not going to lose it. It's just going to be, a, it's going to be like Lummy said, it's going to be an upstairs, downstairs deal. Or maybe, yeah, to the side. Now, there is, which, it which sucks, I need to talk but, to Bubba. They want to do something in September with the wrestling, too, and Bubba Army. Where? Third base club. With the wrestling. Oh, they're gonna are they gonna do a fucking wrestling show? Yeah, that is the plan. That's After actually awesome. Baseball game and a wrestling event. Whew. Right behind home plate. So you have all those seats. And man, So are we gonna do dugout club or are we gonna do third base club again and then just go watch the show? Third base club. Or okay. third base or first base club. I mean, we could actually at that point do any of them. Yeah. Because well, I mean technically no, because Bubba's gonna want to heckle so third base club, because it's gonna be a baseball game. Then the wrestling, and if you buy a baseball ticket, you get uh, wrestling for free after. That's pretty cool. And they're talking yeah. about even having uh, Riddle there. Is Bubba going to heckle the fucking wrestlers? I mean, probably Bubba will be in it. Don't say that now. I don't think Don't so. get me excited. He's talked about it. He I knows all about so. it. I Bubba mean, Splash off the second row. That's right. Get the Bubba boots, you know, tie him up. You know, have him come out of retirement. If you try like, to put those fucking Bubba boots on, they'll fall apart. I put them on once. <laughs> Would Riddle slap me? The yeah. heel on the bottom peeling off yet? Yeah, I don't know. He the stitching mad. is all dissolved. He got mad at me because I didn't tie him up because they're so fucking small. <laughs> no, but I mean that's that's the plan in September. I think it's the last home game of the year for the Tarpons. I want to go out with a bang. Fireworks and a wrestling Fire- show. Baseball game, wrestling, and fireworks. I love it. I mean, how can you go wrong on that? And September, I mean, it it's gonna be hot, but it won't be as hot. Shouldn't be as rainy. Exactly. So I mean, yeah, that's the plan. So hopefully that that can kind of uh, come through. Because you take your pants off. What? I'm listening to Big Red. Excuse me. I yeah. Stop reading fucking chat. <laughs> Speaking of Red taking his pants off, that's probably what's going to happen uh, coming up tomorrow at the Wiener Nationals. Well, Whoa. I was actually going to get into real quick because I wanted to talk Whoa. about uh, Tara real quick. Oh, Tara yeah. came in on uh, Wednesday. Speaking of taking your pants off, <laughs> do you have a crush on Tara? What? I mean, who doesn't, dude? She sounds so good on the air. What about? I mean, she's a beautiful woman. Okay, we're talking about radio right now. I know, but well, he's, well, <laughs> Red was talking about taking his pants off. So, I mean, what, I, to her voice, she sounds so good. That's why yeah, we want to do these liners. Yeah, yeah, that's what Red's thinking. Now, what? Did you <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Go ahead. No, uh, what? What, Red? No, Red, I'm not gonna pee talk. on her back. We get it. No, I'm not gonna talk out of turn. There's no out of turn here. Go for it. You've just you've always heard a lot about the terror twist. Oh, a little interested you know? in the terror twist. I mean, who wouldn't be? Yeah, she's raised my attention before. Yeah. Hmm. It's pretty notorious. I mean, when you've had you hear her talking talk about, about the Terra Twist, it's hard not to. Yeah. Interesting, Colton. She talks about how good right. she treats her employees. 
Uh, that's a good point. Too. Yeah, all that the, turns all, me on too. All the <laughs> benefits. Yeah, that fucking gets me the rock six, hard. Six figure salaries. She's like, even dental and vision oh. too. Like fuck, dude. Fuck. Our, our husband has a, a full set of golf clubs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know, <laughs> that got too rock hard. Or no, can you imagine what you could have? God, yeah. he's living the ultimate life though. If you think about it, just sitting around all day. I remember when they first met. I I ran into Tara at uh, McDitton's. I think she was only dating him for like a week. And I ran into her at a bar. She's like, I'm dating this guy over here. And I was like, what the fuck? She's like, he's 21 or 22. Was, say, was he fucking 20 years old? <laughs> he, was like, he was like super young. And then her and I just got into a full conversation about Bubba. This was like 2000. I don't remember now. 10. She always been a predator. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I didn't say that. It was when Josh Freeman was on the box. I can tell you that. One. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I remember. Of Josh course, Freeman, of Josh course, Freeman. it's a fucking box reference. Yeah, it was Josh well, Freeman at the party you guys were talking yeah, at? Well, well, so he did the best parties. He yeah. did the best parties. Was it McDenton's and Best Soho. parties. Yeah, was he, was scouting, yep, he was scouting some fresh UT poon. He was. It was. Uh, he was. I was there. I saw him. I used to walk in there, pick him off, and leave. Yeah. No, Freeman. We know, Lummy. Yeah, I know. He came and he picked him off, and then he left and he came back. Came remember, back again. We know. We've I, heard. Yeah. So, but I'm saying I, I, I was talking to Tara in between when he was doing whatever he was doing at his house. And uh, fucking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they were doing? Are they fucking? Yeah. But no, I mean, do you guys? Uh, do you guys have your favorite Wednesday guest? Lasker. Colton. <sighs> yeah, on the air, it's Lasker. As a person, it's my boy, Patrick Fowler. Hmm. HR Pat Tuttle. We're not talking about that. We're just talking about who you on the, air. on the air. Yeah, Lasker's fucking killing it. Who's your top four? <laughs> Isn't there only four people? <laughs> yeah, who's your top four? In no order. No, um, no, no, no. We have in Tara. Order. In order. In order. So in you order. got Lasker number one. Okay, hold on. I'm writing it down with you. Lasker, Yelp. Who else do I have? Uh, Tara, Tom Bean, and Tuttle. All right. Um, Tom's going to the bottom. Oh, poor Tom. sorry, Tom. I love you, but uh, and you wrote my paychecks for many, many years. But uh, then Tara, no, Tuttle and Tara are tied for two and three, three and two. Red. I am going to go Tom Bean four. Again, respect to Tom Bean. He writes our paychecks, so I can't say anything too damning. So I won't. Um, He's just too smart for radio. This is a dumb guy division. Too soft spoken, <laughs> I, I think. I, I think Tom is a man of few words, and that doesn't work in this profession. So, from one boring guy on air, you know, I think it's safe to say sometimes it's like Bubble will ask him a question and he'll be like, Yes. Well, why, Tom? Because. And then it just doesn't really develop in anything. So, uh, Tom being for. Tara number three, Tuttle number two, and Lasker number one. I, I think Lasker is the guy that you can fit him into the show any day of the week, and the average listener like wouldn't be able to tell that he's not someone who's on the show every day. Just because he's he's never really overly eager to jump in, and I think he's fucking hilarious. I think him and Bubba have like a natural natural chemistry and the way that they riff off of each other. I just For think sure. he's really I think he's funny. He's he's a genuine dude. Exactly. He is super funny. Lum? No, what's going on? You're not going to no, 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 no. You're listen. not going to put us in this corner and then not take a, not, no, it's not happening. Well, this whole thing relies on if I'm going to be going to Saturday at the No, races, it doesn't. It relies on, give us your order Tom one Bean's going to be there. Okay, so is Tom your number one? I don't know because. Who's your number one? They're all number one in my heart. Lummy, why are you such a bitch? Because I don't pick favorites here. <laughs> Whatever, go ahead. Go into your fucking wiener dog race, pussy. Fuck yeah, you. we don't get anything from Lummy. Lascatera Tuttle Bean. So Lascatera Tuttle Bean. All right, I'm with it. Um Okay, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I read that off chat. Uh so Saturday, Mike Thurman, twenty dollars agreed with Filthy. Filthy. That's you. Actually, if you're gonna be real, it's probably Lasker. <laughs> That's you. Thank you. <laughs> Tara <laughs> Tom Tuttle. Wow, you put Tuttle Why? Last. What happened to Tuttle being tied for two? I thought you were Lummy boys. hates Tuttle. Oh, you're talking about Lummy's list. I thought yeah, you were talking about yeah, yours. Yeah. I don't hate Tuttle. Well, I don't hate Tuttle at all. I shouldn't. You're right. You guys don't hate each other. I mean, there's things that annoyed me about him back in the day, but I mean, although you know that on. one time you called Tuttle out and said he never went to this uh, <laughs> um, casino with you. Yeah. Did Did you get the text message he sent us? No. When he sent us text messages of him with pictures of him at the casino <laughs> with you. With you? 
He did CC to me shove it right back up your ass. He did CC He's such me a on liar that. because I have photos right here of me <laughs> with Lummy at the casino. Oh, did you went one time, but I, I never got that uh, picture. Hold on, I gotta find it here because he didn't send it to me. Like he doesn't send me a lot of things. Yeah, you, see, once again, y'all have this little bit of heat. I don't know why. I don't have heat with them. I think Lummy just does that in general with anybody. No, uh, he yeah, does yeah, that yeah. to me. Yeah, that means I like you. Okay. See, how I it hope is. that's not an excuse. That Here's is not an excuse, right? Of, of right that's not an excuse. I this invited you to playing. Rick's uh, tomorrow. You did. Tonight, Thank you. Actually, tonight. Thank you. Oh, shit. And here's a picture of them September 1st of 2019. <laughs> they are at the casino together. One time. <laughs> Getting ready for buck season. You it looks like you even have a Tuttle shirt on. Oh, no, you don't. I you don't have know, that I other. Don't own a Tuttle no, shirt. no, no. It's that one shirt you used to wear with that guy's face on it with the glasses. Oh, the Bears guy? Yeah, that's who I'm talking Dicka. About. I couldn't tell from the side. The but fake Dicka. Yeah, the fake Dicka. Duh, bears. So, so all I right. Didn't get that picture. But yeah, t- uh, so if you are in the uh, Ocala area or anywhere in the four hour radius of driving there, Bubba is doing uh, what kind of races? Should I look it up real quick? I mean, if you would like to. Mike Thurman, $20 quiet down, Lloyd Christmas. What it is, it's the dog days of four, summer. That's four what it's called. 410 Thunderstocks. Open go. wheel modified, late models. Oh. Is that it? I, I possibly. The four ten non sprints. I don't think they're going to be running the four ten non sprints, are they? Uh, of summer Ocala. That's what it's called. The dog days of summer. Yes. If you Google that, then At, you can uh, Bubba, get it all. what is it? Bubba Raceway Park. Ocala Speedway. Is, oh, they changed the website too. I think so. Six oh four late models, six oh two late models, V eight Thunderstock, street stocks, mod lights, and four point six Fords. No, oh, so I was wrong. On I everything. Will, all at Bubba Raceway Park, also known as Ocala Raceway. Along 9050 with, Northwest Gainesville Road, Ocala, Florida, 34482. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. You, you obviously Saturday. see the Nashes. <laughs> Saturday, dude. <laughs> Saturday. And, Saturday, and, Saturday, and, Saturday. And I, at some point in time, uh, there's going to be wieners uh, racing on the track. And, and Rhett one is, of them, yeah. And one of the wieners belongs to Rhett. Yes. And uh, Rhett's been training his dog. I believe I've been giving it some extra vitamins. I have been training my wiener. Uh, she has been in the pool swimming nice. a lot these last couple Get of weeks. Get some resistance training? Yeah, okay. exactly. Build up the muscle mass. Um, I have been putting a little bit of protein powder in her food. Don't tell, ma- don't tell Macho Man that, but yes, he does have a giant yeah. fucking whey protein on the desk in there. Mm-hmm. It's like animal beast protein or whatever, so and I the give her just too. the tiniest fucking scoop of that on top of her food in the mornings. Anabolic steroids. Yep, we've been going on. <laughs> we've been going on walks. Like those thighs, big. Uh, You're gonna have to. I, mm. hmm, how can you win this race? No, oh, you just get uh, Bella out there at the uh, finish line. I, I, you know, I am nervous about a couple of the scenarios we could find ourselves in because at first I wanted to believe that she's either going to fucking win the race. Or she's going to get distracted and start chasing other dogs. And I felt like there was going to be no in-between. But Scout's a little weird. When she gets around a lot of people or we go out into a public place, like she'll just generally get anxiety and not want to go very far away. Oh, no. So I don't know if she'll run away from me. But the plan is, as of right now, for my mom and my girlfriend to be down at the far end of the track at the finish line. We'll have a little bit of food, whatever they're cooking up at Nashville. I'm sure it'll be delicious, but we'll have that, maybe a little bowl for her. Now, do you feed a little bit of that to her before the race, like to get her, like, you know, like, uh, almost to get her withdrawals of the peanut butter, you know, like give her a bunch of peanut butter the whole way up, (laughs) the whole way up, the whole way up, and then you just cut it, hard cut. And now she's withdrawn from that peanut butter, and she's going to run full speed to come get some more fucking peanut butter. Let's settle down with the peanut butter. Yeah. Uh, No, I I mean, I might give her a little bit, you know, before we, because we're probably going to show up and hang out. For a little while, either between, you know, where Bubba's at or the the Nashville. Um, so we'll probably hang out for a little while, give her a little bit there. But I want her to be rabid for it. Like, I want her to be fucking hungry. So yeah. Have yeah. that dog in her. Yeah, because like she is very food aggressive. And I don't think if there's food on the line, there's anything that's going to stop her. You don't like the Bella at the finish line? N- no. Oh. Because <laughs> I, I don't think she's going to run full speed at Bella. I think she's going to want to play, and she's going to slow down at the very end. She's going to get distracted. Do you think she's going to get distracted and start barking at the other dog owners? I think there's a chance, yes, but I, they're fucking wiener dogs, dude. Like, it, it, if she's not, if she's the only dog barking, then she's not racing wiener dogs. What about what about if you uh, put like horse blinders on her? 
So she can't see so anything. She, but so she's got tunnel vision. Like horse, like a horse. You know what I mean? You have to find some little tiny blinders for yeah. the fucking dog. Yeah, and then she just focuses straight on your mom and girlfriend, and see he's that food, and uh, you know what? I mean, she can win, especially if you've been juicing her up and giving her some protein. By the way, it's like the third or fourth time I heard girlfriend. So um, it sounds like this is the first event that you're taking your girlfriend out to, like a Bubba type event. Except She's for, been to a 199. Oh, has yeah. she? Okay. Yeah. She was here last night. She was here last night. But yeah. that's like still, uh, that's not public Bubba Army. That's still private Bubba Army. Yeah, Does that it, make sense? It, well, yeah. Like yeah, you're still I mean, here at the studio. It's a private uh, setting. Sure. I am bringing my beautiful mother as well. I think the first time I've ever brought her to any Bubba Army thing. Is it? Yeah. I met her, obviously. Cool, so people can meet Mama you met her, and Girlfriend Rat. You met her at uh, at the Bucks game. I met her a couple of times at a Bucks game. Yeah, we would go. It was usually whenever I was going to the games with you, or I would buy tickets with her, and we'd meet up with you and Ashley, and we'd tailgate. Yeah, I was trying to think of the Bubba events, but yeah, you're right. Um, she's a Bubba fan. No panties Thursday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, love she is. Yeah, she is Power Pig OG. Um, been a Bubba fan, been living in this area for the last, like, 35 years, so she's very familiar with Bubba, uh, works at Pinecrest Printing and Signs, so handles a lot of our, our merchandise and business cards. She was the reason that Colt that was rat. able to have dry <laughs> business cards. <laughs> that rat had to carry them. That's the reason yeah. why they were dry. So really, your mom gets all the credit. 813? Lummy Rat, Colton, White Ice Tea. What up, White Ice Tea? Since we're talking about Rhett's girlfriend, I got a couple questions. Oh <laughs> Ever since I seen her, I got a question the, for you uh, too. Over in Daytona, I got a what's question. up? What's up? Let me know. What's up? I'll wait for you to finish your questions with Rhett. All right. Well, we all know about all the hot African American butt <laughs> that Rhett has gotten in his life before. Do we know if his new girlfriend has ever received a black dong? Wow, really coming <laughs> strong on that one. What say you, Rhett? No, uh, I do not believe she has. I I, pre- I have it on good authority Ooh. that she's not really into black guys. Is that going to be a question for tonight? Uh, oh, boy, Mike Dorman, $20 well, thank on the God snipe. for you. Well, uh, what ab- yeah. White Ice Tea, I'm What's sorry. Up? What's Mike up, Dur- Lummy? Mike, Mike Dorman sniped you. All right, well, shit, well, holla. See you, man. Well, oh, I was going to ask yeah. him where the fuck He's was he. He's so cool about it. I was gonna, I was gonna ask where the fuck was was he at the Tarpons game? Yeah, he normally goes to the R local yeah. events. That's he's been bringing saying. his, he's been bringing his uh, kid to his son. Yeah, that's what I'm surprised by. You know, he was at, uh, he was at the Bucks thing. He was at, uh, he was at Barb, wasn't he? Yeah, because he couldn't bring his kid. His uh, Bubba invited him one one night. He brought his kid to Barb. Did he? Yeah, e- e- either Bubba 199 or or Barb. I think it may have been Barb, but him and his kid are in the video. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that. 843. Red, are you sure you know if she has not had Black Dawn before? She wouldn't tell you, I don't think. Or you think you could feel it. Who is, who's who's calling there, sir? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. There he goes. Way to, way to open that one up, White Ice Tea. Um, I mean, it's kind of a valid point, though. Listen, you can't feel if your girlfriend... That's what I'm saying, and she's it. not going to tell you. She'll probably be open. Okay. Nine oh two. I think. Uh, <laughs> this is Terry calling from Muscle Beach on the Combrax. Is this the? Uh, is this the? You, hey, did you hear I named the turtle outside uh, Ter- Terry? Yeah, I did hear that. Every uh, time BRN I in Muscle the Beach room now, I got about a hundred people calling me Terry the Turtle now. So thanks, bro. <laughs> he uh, <laughs> Vegas Bob Harmy ten dollars on the super chat. Hey, man, that's respect to you. Uh, I think someone even said Terry, and I said, "Yeah, Terry the Turtle," and uh, he said, uh, "From the Muscle Beach BRN Muscle Beach," and uh, Mike Thurman with the twenty dollars snipe Terry. Sorry, Sorry Terry. Am I not turtly enough for the Turtle Club? Oh man, I was hoping What's to hear from? Terry Master of Disguise. Oh no! You remember that know. movie? No, it fucking sucked. But that was the only part that I like. The only part you remember? Just about. <laughs> Am I not turtly enough for the Turtle Club? Is that the one with the? Uh... Who's the comedian? Or is that a cartoon? Oh, fucking. Because uh, there was a Dana Carvey was in a turtle movie. Dana Carvey did a turtle thing. Did a turtle thing. I don't know. You're was fucking, it a kids movie? No, it was like a I think a adult movie. He was like a little turtle. Dana uh, Carvey turtle. Like, yeah, Master of Disguise. That was Dana Carvey. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, okay. yes, yes. Right, I so, don't know. It took me a second. Sorry, I didn't know the name of the movie. I just seen. No, the it's movie. okay. It was. It, I, I mean, honestly, it's universally hated. Oh, I know. Everyone, <laughs> hate, everyone hated on uh, that, on that movie. Yeah. But 
no, it's 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 good. So, are you going to be upset if uh, Little Scout doesn't win the race? No, hmm. no. I, I mean, like you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reward her with a puppuccino on the way home or anything like that. But I, I won't be disappointed. What's a puppuccino? Wouldn't you like to know? Is that like a cappuccino for a puppy? Mm-hmm. Damn, Lummy, you worked right through that one. Look, you're not as <laughs> dumb as people you. think you are. Yeah, fuck that. Look at me. I'm a fucking superstar. You're fucking genius, dude. I know what that See, shit is. See, I told is. you geniuses do radio. <laughs> hey, go yeah, fuck it, yourself, Colin. How about that one? If you go to a... <laughs> <laughs> if you go to like a coffee place or really most fast food places, they'll give you a a, a little free cup of sugar free whipped cream for the dog. Well, fuck! I'm gonna start going through and just say I need it for my dog and just get it myself. Yeah. Four one three. Mama says Joe the supermarket. Oh hey Joe supermarket, how's it going? Wonderful. Thanks for asking. I'm going to get off Red's girl for a second and just ask you three: Have you guys had any encounters with Black Dong? What? Yeah, in a shower at USF football or any football team. That's what I mean. On. That's what I mean. I don't mean actually having sex. I'm talking about like, have you seen a real live black dog in front of you? Because I have. Yes, African Americans love walking around the locker room without a towel on. As little Lummy right. like does have a towel one on. One of my first wrestling shows when I first started working was with Tony Atlas. Airplane Willie, $25 was- on the Cash App Snipe. Oh, Mike Thurman, 20 on the. Sorry, Joe. Sorry. And we got 239. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? How's it going? Hey, got a question. Hey, Rhett, on the uh, on the on the the dachshund race, does uh, do they do any uh, testing for steroids or any performance enhancing drugs? I really hope not. It's B- Bubba's track. Okay. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say anything goes in the uh, Bubba track world. Uh, and this is coming from a, a gentleman that owns dachshunds. So I have two. Yes. Yes. Hey, you know, I'll be honest. I, I do like my chances, though. I don't think there's gonna be in, any kind of inside job. I mean, maybe there is. Maybe they forego the testing because, as far as I know, isn't Joe Dirt like a six-time champ? He sure is. And he's there every fucking there's week. No, so like, there's no like scouting report or anything. No, none that I none that I've gotten. But again, I'm not a six time champ like Joe Dirt, so maybe he's got some system that I don't know about. I'll try and I'll try and pick his brain when we get up there. We'll see how friendly he is. I was just listening to the show and I was amazed how you guys segued from BBC to, to Wieners and you did it in a professional manner. Exactly. And I That's just what we to do. Here. You guys on that. Yeah, no problem. I mean, yeah, we got a lot of great people probably, you know, having this on speakers out there and we're just trying to keep it uh keep it flowing and you know. PG-13. Great show. Yeah. Have a great weekend, guys. See ya. You too, buddy. Actually, that's a good question. On uh, What happened to Florida Stanley? Well, you want to get into what happened to people? You want me to start saying names? That I want to know where they went? Let's do it. No, uh, so Florida Phil. I got the Florida. <laughs> I got the okay for Florida Phil, but yeah, we can do it with your Can your Florida Phil I mean, call I, in? No, or? seriously, do I do have... I, I have one name in particular that I'd like to know where they went. Okay. Uh, do I start... Are we really getting down this rabbit hole? Sure. Or is this a topic in itself? A whole show in itself? I mean, you can start it a little bit, and we can always lead it into another st- uh, show. Okay. Um, do I do my, my hard-hitting name first or my least hard-hitting name first? Just hit your I'll least. do my friend first. What happened to fucking... uh your friend first. Yeah, what happened to Elkar Rob? Where's he been? I hope he's okay. That's a good question. Where I've is not Elkar heard Rob? from Elkar Rob. Uh, I've texted El- Elkar Rob. I'm looking to the camera, and I'm telling you I've texted you, and I've gotten no response. I think Wizzy's reached out to you. We've gotten no response. Elkhart Rob, we'd love to hear from you. Where are you at, buddy? Is it radio season? I don't know. I have not heard a word from him. I texted him. My text used to be blue, and now it's green. Can't you uh, Can't you look up if it is radio season? I don't know. Oh, are you? Whoa. But Elkhart Rob, I've heard nothing from. Can I keep going? <laughs> I, go for it. Yes? And, and, we, and, and I understand that we may not. These names may just be dropped, and we might not have an answer for them. And I, I get that. So we said Florida Stanley. We we haven't heard from him. Where is he at? We don't know. Elkhart Rob, we don't know. Lummy's up there making a call. Lummy, who are we calling? Elkhart Rob. Okay. Are we calling Elkhart Rob? Elkhart Rob. All right, let's see if he answers. Let's tell him we miss him. Let's baby well, face we on, this here. on the air. Well, and if we got a baby face up. here, okay? We miss him. That's the main thing. He's getting an 813 number coming through. I'll let you tell him that we're on the air, and I'll tell him I miss him. This is Rob. Hey, Rob, it's uh, Lummy here on the Bubba Loves One Show. You're live on uh, the After Weekly Wrap-Up Show. How's it going? Good, man. How are you? Good. Rob, it's Colton. I actually brought you up because... Hey, Colton. I we, just, we haven't heard from you, buddy. I haven't heard from you. I miss you. <laughs> Where you been? For real. Dude, I've been rodeoing my butt off. 
So it's we're rodeo season, Texas full swing. Weekend. Okay. Yeah, full swing. Rhett called it. That's so, a thought yeah. what you were doing. So uh, what? You got shows coming up or something? What's going on? Yeah, I just got back from Texas, and then we go, head to Colorado, Nebraska, bunch. So, so do you still listen to the show? Chasing the white lines in the highway. Chasing the white white lines in the highway. Do you so? Uh, is that a Garth Brooks song? Uh, do you? Uh, you still listen to the show? It's You're not mad at us, are you? Yeah, every day, every day. All right, well, listen, we're all worried about you. You know, I always loved seeing uh, no. when Elkhart Rob would pop in chat and just say hello. All right, I will start doing that more. Were you sleeping? <laughs> With everything else going on. Were you sleeping? But I listen to the show either, usually afterwards because because um, it come on so early here. So, Rob, any anything home. new in your personal life? Any new girls? Any anything? I, I I got a great new girl. Awesome. And, awesome. Uh, yeah, we've been here about been together about a year now. So congratulations. Yeah, everything's good. Very nice. Very nice. We'll just know that you in particular. We brought your name up because we missed hearing your name and missed seeing you in chat. So just know that we were worried about you. All right. Don't worry about me. I'll keep you guys informed. Anything goes on. Perfect. All right, Rob. You got my number. Shoot me a text if you got a new number or anything. Okay. Thank All you, right, brother. Thank Good you, Rob. To you guys. Oh, there you go. See, look Dude, at that. That was great. I think that's a good thing. We're connecting yeah. back with the Bubba Army. That's been lost. That's, that's what right. it's all about. Bringing them back in. Reeling them back in. Well, here. You want to end on the uh, Florida Phil story? Yeah. Let's do I it. Do, yeah. And then we'll wrap it up and get out of here. So, obviously, we know our good friend Hootie. And uh, he's been struggling sometimes. It's kind of like, an, you know, I, I talked to Florida Phil at the Tarpons game and I've seen little things here and there from Hootie in chat about Fort of Phil, which I don't understand. So, okay, so Hootie is the one. Uh, I'm just make sure I have this Hootie, correctly. Hootie, Hootie, Hootie seems to be the one attacking the Florida Phil. So, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So, Fort of Phil, one uh, day or yeah, it was one day a while ago, reaches out and said, "Hey, uh, I got a message from Hootie on Facebook, and I got a house here in." Uh, he had a rental property in Sun City Center, that area, and it's vacant. Really, nothing's going on. He needs a place to stay. Is it still vacant? I don't know. I'm trying to get it for <laughs> Ashley's you know, grandma. Is it still renting? Well, I'm trying to get it for Ashley's grandma. But it's Sun City Center. It's pretty far away. Golf cart center is what yeah, that's not far. That's not far from where I'm at. No, oh, it's not. Okay. Rhett can be over there slaying away. I mean, that that is going to be not the next villages, but that's, you know, they're well on their way. So I'll be transparent. I mean, he texted me and said, hey, you know, he needs a place to stay. I'm going to tell him, hey, I got a place that, you know, if maybe if you could just do some things around the house maintenance wise or just keep it up clean, blah, blah, blah. I won't charge you rent. You can stay there. So I guess who do you got to ride over there? I told Florida Phil, I was like, oh, man, I don't know, man. You know, you're in Canada. I think he was in Canada at the time. Yeah, he has that uh, yeah. uh, bed of roses yeah. or something. Is that what it's called, right? Yeah. yeah. It's it's a bed and breakfast, but I think it's called bed of roses or roses of bed, something along those lines. It's mm-hmm. Niagara Falls is where it is. Yeah. And I was just like, I don't know, man. You're not there, blah, blah, blah. And Hootie's, Hootie's going through a bunch of stuff. And he said, I already told him yes because Bubba Army stuck together. Ford to Phil, great guy. I mean, you know, you, you, you're yeah, opening up your place, not having rent. All you got to do is keep it up. Well, I guess like a week uh, goes by and Hootie hasn't done anything. Well, who would have thought that? Let's just time out real quick. Who thinks that this is going to end well? Yeah. You know? So I was talking to Ford to Phil at uh, the Tarpons game, and he was saying about, I guess Ford to Phil confronted him and like, hey, man, I just gave you some task to do, and you haven't done a single thing. And he's like, I'm not even charging you rent, you know. You know, if he wants, you know, if you're not going to do this stuff, can you pay? And I guess at the time, Hootie's like, I can't pay you because I just sent $50 an Amazon gift card to Taylor Swift. And I guess Florida Phil's like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Was it, was it, hold on. Was it Taylor Swift or Jennifer Aniston? It was Taylor Swift. Wait, okay. that, Lummy, I just want to make this clear. You're not joking. He did tell Florida Phil, which was his landlord at the time, that he couldn't pay him because he just paid Whoever the Taylor fuck, Swift. Taylor Swift. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. Okay. So you're and not being funny. That's for real no. what he told him. And yeah, so it's it's sad at this point. It's it's like not even funny anymore. <laughs> yeah. So I guess there's like two two different stories, and I guess for it to feel like, kind of like I guess Hootie Hootie claims that he that Florida Phil poked him in the eye, and then Hootie uh, knocked him out. And hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm who poked who? So supposedly Florida Phil was like poking at him like okay. just like pointing his finger and supposedly 
he poked him in the eye, which Florida Phil said never happened, and then uh, Hootie says that he uh, knocked him out. Okay, does Florida Phil agree that he got knocked out by by Hootie or no? No. Okay. And he said that he didn't even uh, he didn't even like was pointing his finger. He said uh, Hootie lost his mind and started getting really fucking pissed off, and uh, I guess then he started saying some shit to Florida Phil, and then Florida Phil kind of got angry. And Florida Phil, he's not like a taller, but he's you know he's. He's pretty built. When I see Florida Phil, I think of an old gangster. Yeah. To be yeah. quite honest with yeah, you. Yeah, no, absolutely. Exactly. Me too. Yeah. yeah, pull back. And I guess he just got in his face. And I guess Hootie just told him, you know, to go fuck himself. And, and, but Hootie claims that he, he knocked him out and that Florida Phil is the biggest piece of shit in the world. And that's when I pretty much just gave up on Hootie. You know, so do you know when this was? This was months ago. He, yeah, it was when Florida Phil, he texted me a while ago, but. The whole thing is, is like Hootie's bragging about knocking him out in chat, and Florida Phil, who's Bubba Army, you know he's not on the, you know he's not on the Hall of Fame, but you know he comes to events and does different things, and he reached yep. out for his house, and like just hearing about how disrespectful that uh, Hootie was. So Hootie did. I just want to make sure we have it correct because there are people in the chat that are a little confused as well. Yeah, Hootie so did Hootie, put hands Hootie on Florida Phil. Hootie did put hands and punch Florida Phil. Now he didn't fucking knock him out. He didn't fucking put him on his ass. But he did. He he did punch him or put hands on him. Correct. Correct. Okay. All because he just said, "I need you to do some stuff around the house." And that's fucked. First off, but second off, you're living there for free, right? Yeah. And um, and this dude is a bub army dude. So. I don't want to say it's not like this is your family because, you know, like, I guess you can get away with more with family. So you and at times, you know, like this is a Bubba Army guy. It's a friend and you're doing him fucking completely dirty. I, I think like, at the end of the day, of I think at the end of the day, what really drives the point home and just shows you the type of person that he is and will continue to be because everyone has tried to help this guy and everyone has given up because he's so fucking arrogant and so full of himself that he believes in his own mind that he has all the right answers. Everybody needs something from him. And, I mean, he was in chat this morning talking about how he just blew a load on, on Carrie Underwood's stomach. Maybe a picture of somebody else's stomach who's telling you that they're Carrie Underwood. He's just trying to work a shoot, dude. Right. I get that right. He's trying to work well, it's, a shoot. It's always, yeah, he's it's to always, work a shoot. It's always been that way, though. He's the guy that's a big mark for himself. He's a guy that loves to call in and hear the sound of his own voice. And to be quite honest, I, I don't want to go too much further because it does feel like I'm punching down here. But he's a fucking loser. And I hope people... Uh, are careful if they choose to help this guy. And I think Florida Phil um, knows that, and that's probably why Florida Phil didn't unleash and just completely beat his fucking ass. Yeah, because everybody feels bad for Correct. him. Correct, because we know damn. Florida Phil could have. But uh, again, when when you have the attitude that he has, <laughs> it's really, really hard to play a bad uh, play play a good victim. Yeah, because Florida Phil's message on the 24th was like, I tried to help him out. I felt really bad for him. I gave him a place to stay. He ended up trying to punch me. I ended up having to ask him to leave. I just wish I would. I wish I would have kicked the fuck out of him. But then Florida Phil on the thirteenth, it was in the hospital because he thought he was having a heart attack. You know. Well, in Florida Phil, you know the thing about Florida Phil too is that you know he's a genuinely good guy because he's not drama. He doesn't attract drama. He doesn't stay around drama. He shows up to all the events. He yep. does what he can. Pitches in for the show. He doesn't need credit for it. And like, we don't even know about this drama. Right. Like, we're having to hear this from Lummy. You know what I mean? It's not like this drama's out and about. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so God bless Florida Phil, because Lord knows he tried. Yeah, so... I now, mean, there is a good way to settle this, and, um, you know, I'll go pick up two boxing gloves from, from Walmart. And oh, so you want to redo the uh, bubble gun? The bubble no, gun. no, we're going to hold... No, this is going to be held between uh, Florida Phil at Sun City, uh, he's in Sefner, we're going to meet between the two, we're going to meet at, uh, at Big Ben. I don't even think he's in <laughs> Sefner anymore, he's been bouncing around between national parks, wherever they'll let him stay. Yeah, I saw he was at the Colt National Park, whatever. Yeah, yeah I mean, too. the Bubba Gun, I mean, we can get that set up, I know. Uh, we don't really, really want him here, I mean, we want Florida Phil here, we don't really want Hootie here, so I, I say it's just more of a streaking, uh, you know, uh, parking lot brawl. Let's find a dog park somewhere. Yeah, something like that. What, are you gonna bring a uh, scout? She can watch. Bite, Scout's bite. coming home with some hardware this weekend. <laughs> <Do you laughs> yes, get, the do, fuck she is. Do you get a trophy? Yeah, I think if you win, you get a you get a trophy and like a ribbon and all that fancy stuff. And, and cash? I don't know about cash. That'd be awesome, though. I don't think so. I, yeah, I doubt it. Bubba and okay, hold on, I have to pull the curtain back a little bit, right? Let me. Bubba and, and Tom were talking recently about how the track is uh not making the most of money. Oh no. So I don't know if there's gonna be a prize for the Wiener Dog Nationals. A lifetime <laughs> supply of Zuber Dogs. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You, Thank you for everything. Thank yeah. you, Colin. Thank you, Hootie. Hootie, Jesus Christ. Yeah.
Thank you, Rhett. I, I see. Yeah, I shut up. I, I see. Good luck tomorrow to Scout if I don't see you there, which we're trying to go. Um, Colton, Thank have you. fun up at the track. I will be there. Don't forget to download all the podcasts, including the latest Loner and Stoner. More importantly, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, The Bub Army. And don't forget for don't forget to get your shoes before Monday. Your Bubba Army, uh, Bubba uh, Fat Man Dunks too. Uh, they will uh, July first is the cutoff. So uh, go to Bubba Army Store, Bubba Army Shop, Bubba Army Merch dot com. Everyone have a great rest of your day. We will see you Monday morning six a.m. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good weekend. A rock show tonight. Okay, yeah, rock show tonight. Rumble.com forward slash the Bubba Army. What time do you think? Uh, 7, 8 o'clock. There you go. Check it out. <laughs>